They are sprinting away from the 1,000 metre marker. On the left hand side, Oliver Queen, very quick to respond. Kildonan Lad in the White Silks is right there, pacing it with them. California in and the black to the stand side. Gorgeous guest, that's got the red cap towards the outside. Raw Courage in the Yellow Silks. Roy's Mumbo at the back of the field, six lengths off them. Calling from the inside, Oliver Queen, that's got the orange silks. Kill Donan Lads right there in the white, and Raw Courage in the yellow silk starts to come forward. Gorgeous guess, three lengths to make up. Here's Raw Courage now putting in a spirited run coming to the 300 meter marker. Kill Donan Lad looks to go with him. Gorgeous guest on the outside. Raw Courage by a half a length, leaning on to Kill Donan Lad there. Raw Courage is running around. Kill Donan Lad's going to come back for one last bite on the inside. Gorgeous guest tries to get into it but kill Donan Lad gets the better of exchanges. Second spot goes to gorgeous guest Raw Courage and Roy's Mumbo. So kill Donan Lad and Raw Courage. Raw Courage moved up a winner at the 300, but he ran on to number two, kill Donan Lad. Kill Donan Lad finds extra. Look at this run from Gorgeous Guest. Comes flashing through late. Well, only gets beaten by a head. We went with kill Donan Lad about 100 meters out. He looked the winner. He stays on and he finds the post in the nick of time. Gorgeous Guest comes lunging through late second. Raw Courage and Roy's Mumbo. Then came California in. Here you'll see Raw Courage. He moved up a winner. He now starts to lean on to Kill Donan Lad. You'll come to the last hundred meters. There you'll see Raw Courage Green running on to Kill Donan Lad. Luckily, Kill Donan Lad finds a little bit extra. And then Gorgeous Guest. The path fork really takes off the last 75 meters. But number two, Kill Donan Lad for the Morvisas and Sam Osman will find the post. Back to the studio. a good result for trainer Paul Gatsby and uh, owners Robert Movis and uh, Mr. Sam Osman. Well done to the guys, the son of Kildon and has come to, to win and things could have gone wrong for him on that inside running rail. Uh, you saw uh, that uh, head on as well and uh, you know for a horse to win under those circumstances it takes a lot of heart and he's certainly shown that this afternoon. Yes, I think so, Dees. Um, I think Keegan had everything under control. I wasn't that worried, you know, we, we saw the bump coming and it happened. And I said to Robert, don't worry, I'm sure he'll recover and get up anyway. And that's what happened. Um, I think he was a bit too good for this field. Um, although he's struggling, Maiden, I think he's still probably got one more in the tank. Well, the number's in the frame, and that's what counts. And uh, Mr. Movis, he supported you throughout your career since you've taken out your trainer's license again? Yes, many, many years, and great thanks to him and his friend Samad. They've been good to me, really supported our stable well. And also, I'd like to congratulate uh, Clifton Studd. Peter and his wife, uh, well done, Brendan and other now source here. Anything else from your side? We've got Miss Valicious in the next. I think she's a big runner. If I can ever um, have a chance of beating Duncan Alder's filly, I think today could be the day because we might have a little bit of fitness um, over, over his filly come, having coming back from a, a lengthy break. Thanks for that, Paul. No, pleasure. Well done, Paul Gatsby. Let's get uh, Keegan DeMello in. You're going to talk us through it. Uh, got tight on that inside running rail. Yes, um, I, I, I thought I had to go a little bit earlier than I actually wanted to on this horse because he hits the front and he, and he shirks it a little bit. So it wasn't my plan to go that early, but um, when I went for it, I had to put my head down and, and really dig down for it. And um, I must say, he won a nice race today. He's not a bad horse. He just needs to um, get his mind right. Well, you liked him and the numbers in the frame, so you were spot on with your confidence as well. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, once the, once the favour got scratched, I was, I was quietly confident. Obviously, I didn't know about the first time. And... Um, yeah, I must say a big thank you to Mr. Gasby and Beth um, for, 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 the, for the support. I really appreciate it. They taught me in the academy, and it's nice to repay them with a the winner. Nice double thus far. Thank you very much. A big thank you to Mr. Movis and all his partners. Well done. Well done. Kick in the middle. Let's get uh, Mr. Movis in and uh, Robert on course. And uh, come through, sir. You want to have a chat as well? No problem. Uh, Mr. Sam Osman, come through, sir. Uh, let's have a chat to... Uh, oh, well, well done. Uh, big supporter of the stable, and uh, this horse has come through handsomely for you guys. Good. Thank you very much. And... Uh, well done to Beth and Paul, and also to Kevin. He had to work a bit hard on the horse, but uh, a win is a win. And uh, we've been very fortunate with Kildonan, Alessa. It's our fourth win now in the last uh, four months. Three with uh, uh, Vision to Kill, and now this one. And we've got some more in stock. So hopefully Kildonan will prove to be a good uh, sire for us. 
just moving away from racing, what's the ex-chairman up to these days? Oh, you know, there's a bit of a holiday at, at the moment. So. But uh, I'm, I'm very keen to help Gold Circle ahead if they want me, uh, because I think that I can come to some help in, uh, in the future. I think there's some challenges and uh, some very important challenges at the moment, and I'm here if they want me to help. Well, that's some encouraging words. Thanks for that, Robert. But well done to you, sir. Thank you very much, and thanks to Robert again to, for allowing me to, you know, be in partner with him, Vision to Kill, and Aki done a lot. And then uh, thank you to Paul and Beth also for their hard work, and then of course to Kevin for this run. Fantastic. That horse, Vision to Kill, is training out to be a smart horse in the stable. Yeah, cross fingers, huh? I don't want to say much. <laughs> well played. Thank you. Well done to the guys here yeah, with number two, Kildone and Lad, and the Philly just the unlucky as well. But she ran her heart out, a number eight, gorgeous uh, guest. Two, eight, three, and five. That's the way they cross the line. Race number three coming up next will be the start of the jackpot. Race number four at 1440, and that's 20 to three.